Hi, my name's Forrest. Forrest Stump. Would you like a chocolate? Um, no thank you. I'm trying to lose weight. I understand. I'm on the Canrobi Intestinal Parasite Nutritional Plan myself. <laughs> now there's one thing funny about my name, Forrest. What's that? Forrest seems like a fine name to me. Well, my name is Forrest and has been since I was born, but guess what I do for a living? Car salesman? Nope. I worked for the Forest Service. Really? Yep. My name is Forrest, and I work for the Forest Service. Life is that way, I guess. Always coming around, and sometimes with a sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> so does that mean you were a forester, Forrest, and you drive a forester? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> No, on both counts. I'm, I'm an earth scientist, and I, I drive a Honda. Earth scientist? It, that's geology, isn't it? Does that mean your middle name is Rocky? <laughs> You're funny, Rocky. No, actually, my middle name is Templeton, after my uncle on my mother's side. But I am an earth scientist, and I deal with soil and watersheds. That sounds interesting. Oh, yes, very interesting. I studied hydrology and geology in school, and then went to work for the Forest Service. Where was that? Up in the Big Tree National Forest with Ranger Dan. I remember it as clearly as if it was a flashback scene. <laughs> you see... Splish splash, I was taking a bath. Hey, Ranger Dan, let's get with the plan. How about cutting 200 million board feet? Let's keep the logs a skidding. The chief, he ain't a kidding. Even though you've never heard of an erosion plan. What do you say that we go out for a ride? I got a green rig park. Just right outside on the way we can find us a deer or two Help the foresters lay out a sail or two So hey, Mr. Stump, get up for your rump Let's see what an earth scientist can do Good morning, sir. I'm Forrest Stump, your new earth scientist. Morning, Stump. Sit down. Thank you, sir. How about a cup of joe? Uh, no, thank you, sir. Gotta know, Forrest, this is a red letter day in my career. Sir? A few weeks ago, I couldn't even spell hydrologist. Now I got one working for me. <laughs> Look, I've been working for the Forest Service for over 20 years, and let me tell you, it used to be a great place to work. Hey, boss. Sorry to interrupt. That's all right. Hey, I'm uh, cruising Sugar Pine up on the J-Line, and I've got my deer tag over the weekend. So I may be taking a little annual leave this afternoon if I see a nice buck up there. That's okay. You'd be safe out there, though. Ten fur. Anyway, 
Now that's changed in the Forest Service. Used to be rangers were like kings. Now we got directives and legislation and multiple use plans and employees whose titles end in ologist. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Look, Stump, become highly recommended. Good schools, good grades, good experience. I'm dependent on you to figure out just what the hell you do around here, okay? <laughs> I mean, I like to fish as much as the next guy, but I have to admit, I don't know squat about what it is I'm supposed to have you do. Yes, sir. Well, keep me around for a while, and maybe soon you will know squat. <laughs> Here's what I want to do. I've got kind of a guide lined up for you. Lakewood, get in here. Out, Ranger Dan. Lakewood, this is Forrest Stump. He's our new earth scientist, first one in the entire region. I need you to show him the district, show him what we got and what we do. You got it, Ranger Dan. And look, if he wants anything, you get it for him. If he's got a question, you answer it. Yes, sir. <laughs> you know, sir, uh, this trip might take us up by Jenny Lake. Yeah, what's your point? Well, it was Spencer, he said that the kokanee are running up at Jenny Lake and uh, you know, maybe they're about towards lunch. I got my pole in the truck. Just might want to, you know, burn an hour or two or leave. I don't know. That's up to Stump. Look, Stump, spend a couple days with him and look around the district. He knows it. I want you to look things over, get back to me about what you see and what you think we need to do. Fair enough? Yes, sir. I won't let you down. All right. One more thing. Sir? I got a memo a couple months back. It said the district had two special watersheds, something like... Barometer, 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 barometer watersheds. I never heard of them. I want you to keep an eye out for them. <laughs> yes, sir. We'll do that. Well, Forrest, this is Milkwood Meadow. Doesn't look like there's very much left of the grass here. Nope, not much at all. This stuff's shorter than a Marine recruit's haircut. <laughs> yeah, well, we had a pretty mild winter. So the cows, they come on a little early. The permittee has to up his AUMs a little bit this year since so things were so dry down on the winter range. Well, that may be whatever an AUM is, but with no grass here and no vegetation there on the stream banks. Seems like this meadow and this stream are at risk if we have any kind of a flow event this winter. Flow event? Well, rest, rest easy, Forrest. I'm pretty sure we don't have any flow events planned. <laughs> I mean, I mean, really, we always have it. We have a great Halloween party. I mean, last year, <laughs> you know, last year Ranger Dan came as as Elvis. That was good. And then Thanksgiving, there's that great spread over at Kennedy's house. And then Christmas, we usually do a tree and a gift exchange. So. You know. Well, I don't mean parties, I mean runoff. Runoff? Forrest, nobody's run off the district in years. <laughs> I mean, not, not since old Shorty Jones got caught setting fires back in 52. <laughs> you know? So, you seen enough? Come on, run, Forrest, run. Wow, that was sure a bumpy ride the last couple yeah. miles. Yeah, I know. Sorry about that. This road was pretty good in the spring after we graded it. Then those thunder, those thunder showers in July, well, they really gullied it out again. Hmm. Hank, this road is sure close to the creek. Seems like it might be better up there a ways. Up there? Heck, Forrest. It's too damn steep up there. You ever seen a tractor try to work a slope like that? Nope. See how it's nice and flat right down here by the creek? It's a flood plain. No, I, don't, I don't know anything about floods, but it's plain to see that it's flat. <laughs> and it's easy to build roads down here. You don't have to move that much dirt. Plus, you don't have to knock down any trees, just these, these willows and such. Hank, those willows are trees, too, and they're real important to the creek. They provide shade and energy and hold the banks together. They're probably more valuable than those pines. What? Forrest, I thought Ranger Dan said you went to college. <laughs> well, I'm not sure where it was, but I guess they didn't teach you much about forestry. 
You'd think a guy with a name like yours would have at least taken a class or two, just for grins, if nothing else. But let me tell you, I've been here for 10 years now, and we have never, ever, no, not one time ever had a sale that included willow or aspen or cottonwood or alder. If we did, nobody would have bid on them. Now, pine, Doug fir, that's a different story. You got value there. Willows have value. <laughs> that's a hoot. Come on, Forrest. I'll show you some real trees. What the? Hello, Forrest. Welcome to the Forest Service. <laughs> yeah, welcome. Just remember, Forrest, 90% of being an Earth scientist is mental. The other half is physical. It's really great to meet both of you, but I mean, what's going on? What are you doing here? What? You're looking for reality? It's a skit. The writers... <laughs> The writers are using us as symbols. Obviously, I'm here to represent the heritage and great tradition of the Forest Service. Yogi here represents some of the thinking of the 1950s and early 1960s. He was also the only two-time most valuable player. Yeah, I always thought that record would stand until it was broken. <laughs> They usually write me in as a one-note guy. It's forest fires, forest fires, forest fires, like a broken 45. Truth is, Old Smokey's got outside interests too, like water. All forest creatures understand that water is the single thing that makes all else possible. Remember, water is one of the main reasons the national forests were created. By the time your career is over, Water will be honored as the primary product from our great forest. <laughs> Yay! Why, people will cherish water for the treasure it is, and no expense will be spared to, the pr to protect the watersheds that give it life. From sea to shining sea, this great land of ours will be united in a water-worshipping frenzy. <laughs> the land will sprout water from fountains in every desert. Lawns will always be green, berries ripe, and bears will be allowed to vote. <laughs> I have a vision of little girls and boys hugging bears, of grown men in the great land of Chicago chanting our name, even Man, who writes this stuff? <laughs> and the forests are real important for recreation, too. The only problem is, some of them are getting so crowded, no one goes there anymore. <laughs> well, look, I'd love to talk with you guys more, but I gotta catch up with Lakewood. <sighs> You'll find him. One last thing. <laughs> <laughs> You'll find him when you get to the fork in the road. Take it. <laughs> Don't <laughs> screw up. <laughs> I'll do my best, Smokey. I won't let you down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I forgot that one. Okay, there we go. So, Hank, that mine back there, you said it was on Forest Service land? Yeah, I've been there longer than anyone can remember. A few years ago, when they changed the mining law, that miner holed himself up in his cabin and took a couple of shots at Ranger Dan when he came out to talk to him about the surface rights. Well, he fired his rifle anyway. But I think it was really more just to get attention than to inflict damage. At least that's what Ranger Dan says anyway. So what happened? Well, it's a good story. Ranger Dan said he finally got him to open the door, and finally got him to let him come in, and he finally let him sit down, then suggested he have a drink. Good thing for Dan, that miner had quite a stash in there. Never know when you're going to get snowed in, I guess. Anyway, after a couple of fifths, letting the forest retain the surface rights didn't seem like a bad idea, I guess, so he signed the paper. Wow. <laughs> yeah, mad as hell, though, when he sobered up. 
So Hank, when was this, when was this cut? Uh, this, uh, this was part of the uh, Get the Big One sale. Uh, yeah, this unit was cut last year. Hank, you got some serious erosion on this landing and, and these skid trails. Yeah well, yeah, well, I guess so, but you know, we might be back in here again before winter, and uh, you know, they still got to get the cedar out. You know? <laughs> See them, a couple of big ones right there next to the creek. You know, I was going to ask you about that. Looks like you skidded right up to the channel. Well, you know, had to. Pulled some big pumpkins out of there. Hank, it's, it's kind of like the willows that we talked about earlier. Those trees are really important to the creek. Look, you, you see goes. that pool right there? Now tell me, what causes that pool to be there? Uh, nature. Well, nature, sure, but specifically what in nature? <laughs> oh, hell, I don't know, the, uh, the pool god. Hank, that, that log, that down tree, that's what formed the pool. Well, Forrest, you might be right about that. Now, you see that office this morning? Yeah, nice, nice place. Yeah, well, wood formed that place, too. <laughs> well, Stump, how was the first day? Real interesting, Ranger Dan. Real interesting. Great. What do you got for me? Well, sir, I'm not sure where to start. It's... It's, uh, there's so many things. Well, you better sum it up for me, give me the details tomorrow. If I don't pick up the wife in time to get home and see the show of shows, my ass is grass, if you know what I mean. <laughs> sure, sir. Well, to sum it up, I, I guess I'd say there's some things we could do differently, some pretty easy and some not so easy, to improve the conditions of our streams and watersheds. Well, I'll be all ears on the easy ones. You fill me in tomorrow, I'm glad you're on board. Me too, sir. This is a beautiful place to work. Oh, it's God's country for us. You got that right. See you in the morning. I'll look forward to it, sir. Enough of the sir. Make it Dan, or Ranger Dan. By the way, any luck finding that barometer? This beauty is slow, but this is getting ridiculous. Hey, wait, is that the number 12 bus a few blocks up? Uh, no, that's the uh, number 12A. Instead of going west on Jefferson, it makes a hard right off Scenic Point and plunges into the unknown. <laughs> Rats. I think I'll have one of those chocolates now, if you don't mind. Seems like the bus is taking forever to get here. Sure, here. You know, working for the Forest Service is kind of like a box of chocolates. You never know quite what you're going to get. <laughs> sometimes it's sweet all the way through, and sometimes there's nuts in there. Mmm. <laughs> Why does chocolate have to taste so good? Why couldn't something that was really good for you taste like that? Forrest, it sounds like you had some real challenges when you first started your career. Challenges? Yeah, I guess you could call them challenges. But you know, good things are worth working for. The rewards are sweeter that way, just like chocolate. That they are. Hey, can I have another piece? Did things change after people in the Forest Service got to know you and what you had to offer? They did, eventually. Shortly after I started with the Forest Service, Congress passed a lot of environmental laws, and the public wanted a change. Clean Water Act, Clean Air Act, NEPA, NFMA. Did the laws make things better? I'm not sure if they got better. They got different, though. <laughs> now stay tuned for the Vernon Shirley. Next, here on ABC.
as they make their way across the universe. I like to teach the world to sing. Can I have another <laughs> Hawaiian punch? Sure. You Ranger Dan met a few of the public down at the ranger station. They wanted to provide input on a timber sale plan or two. They all closed in for a showdown with the new laws on their side. Ranger Dan and the district, they had no place to hide. Dirt in the water, no fish left in the stream. Dirt in the water. Hello. Hello, everyone. And welcome to our public meeting to discuss our new timber project, Get Em While They Last Timber Sale. <laughs> we call it the Get Em Sale for short. And I'm glad you could take the time to be with us this afternoon. I can't believe this. When I started this job, we got the target from the SO. My forester went out to pick a stand. We cruised it, and we sold it. First. I would like to have our project forester, Dave Deadpan, briefly explain the plan to you, and then I'll be happy to answer any questions. Dave? Who are these people? <laughs> I don't know half of them. Oh, the bird watchers are here. That's great. And the guys in the front row in the suits. Who the heck are they? You've heard the plan. Now we think it's a good project and we'll continue to supply wood from our national forests to meet the needs of this fine country. It also increases public access to our forests and will provide better access for fire suppression as well. That's it in a nutshell. Any questions? <coughs> yes, uh, Ranger Dan, my name is Walter Aware. <laughs> I'm with the United States Environmental Protection Agency, and as I'm sure you're aware, the EPA was created in 1973, and as you're probably <laughs> aware, one of our jobs is to administer provisions of the Clean Water Act. As you may be aware, the Act was amended in 1972 and includes provisions for protecting water quality from non-point sources such as timber harvest. I didn't hear anything in your plan that addressed protection of beneficial uses. I would like you to provide a little more detail in regards to your responsibility to protect water quality. EPA? <laughs> Non-point sources? What the hell's a beneficial use? <laughs> Mr. Aware. <laughs> I apologize for not including those details in this brief summary of our plan. As I'm sure you're aware, we're still in the process of working out the details of this proposal. As we develop the specific measures in regard to protection of water, we will make sure you are aware of them. Ranger Dan, I'm Frank Saprinid with the State Department of Fish and Game. As you know, my agency has been quite concerned with some of the recent timber sale projects on this district in terms of their impact on fish and fish habitat. Past projects have just not adequately protected these resources, and I am very troubled that your planner has said nothing about how fish resources were considered in developing this project. This project will build over 10 miles of road. 
if the construction is anything like it was on your past timber sale, we're going to have some big problems. Oh God, what problems did we have? How come I'm hearing about problems on past timber sales from some guy from another agency at a damn public meeting? <laughs> Didn't Dead Pan say anything about roads? I wish I'd been paying attention when he gave his spiel. <laughs> Mr. Siprinid, first of all, thank you for your comment. And thank you for relaying your concerns regarding the past performance relative to road construction. Frankly, I share those concerns. <laughs> Again, what we presented here tonight is preliminary and lacks details on road construction, particularly how those activities will be carried out with proper regard to fisheries resources. As those plans proceed, we invite you to work with us. <laughs> that sounded good. <laughs> <laughs> What the? Hey, Ranger Dan, the times, they are a-changing. <laughs> Bob, what are you doing here? You belong back in the 60s. Well, oh yeah, I, I've had some hits since the 60s at Nashville Skyline. That was back in 1968. That was no hit. Well, I, I, if, you know, uh, if not for you, uh, knocking on heaven's door. Well, okay, but blowing in the wind like a rolling stone, just like a woman, those were all 60s. You should have walked in on the last skit. Well, well you know how long it takes to get dressed up like these. <laughs> and, and really, the only reason I'm really here is to tell you the times, they are a-changing. Oh, <laughs> Bob, 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 I know you love an audience, but I'm in the middle of a public meeting here. <laughs> if your t life to youth is worth saving, you better start swimming or you're going to sink like a stone because the times, they are changing. Bob, <laughs> the meeting? The meeting? Oh, oh, yes. The role, the role is rapidly changing. And if you want to step off the new one and get on to the old one, well, the times, they are a-changing. Okay, Bob, I get the point. Really, I do. Watersheds, clean water, I got it. Now, please. Thank you. Excuse me. I knew I would screw that lineup. <laughs> Excuse me, Ranger Dan. Um, I'm Mary Mayor, Mayor, here to represent the River Town Council. There's a lot of good in this plan that the town likes. We like the timber for the mill and the jobs that come with it. But I've got to be frank, Dan. A lot of those folks in town are concerned about this thing. The gentleman from EPA talked about beneficial uses. I'm not sure if he's aware that part of this get em project is in Clearwater Creek. And that's the creek that, that provides our domestic supply. And Frank, he's right on the mark about that last round of road building job. If that happens on Clearwater, we will have big problems. Deadpan mentioned you were cutting timber up there, but he said nothing about protecting the domestic supply. Just what do you intend to do about it? I can't believe I voted for her. <laughs> what the hell happened on that last project, anyway? <laughs> Mary, 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 thanks for coming tonight. As I mentioned, <laughs> I, I too am very concerned <laughs> about the failures on that last timber sale. I'm equally concerned about protecting the Clear Creek watershed. We're just beginning to look at the reasons for those, those last failures, and we'll incorporate what we find in, in this new project so it doesn't happen again. I'm thinking that maybe the town council would like to have your engineer look at our plans when they're finalized. We would look forward to that review. The mayor there is an elected official, but you sound like you're running for office. We've got concerns here. All I'm hearing is a bunch of glad-handing BS. You've got legal obligations to protect these resources. Legally, they're just as important, to, important as a lame timber target that some pinheaded snarf came up with. <laughs> it sounds to me like this plan presently includes nothing to protect water quality. 
and that this Get Em project's going to be a bigger catastrophe than the last disaster you came up with. I don't know about these elected officials and agency people who have to be civil, but I want answers, and I want them today. I didn't realize today, till today, how much I truly enjoy dealing with the public. <laughs> Ranger Dan, I, I apologize for being late. Mr. Deadpan laid out the timber portions of this plan. It sounds like some folks here would like to learn more about the watershed protection measures, and I'd be happy to share those if you like. Bless you, my son. <laughs> and we can provide some information that will address some of your concerns. I think that's a great idea, Forrest. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Forrest Stump, our district earth scientist. Ooh. <laughs> earth scientist. See if you can't provide some information to address their concerns. Thank you, Ranger Dan. Now, as Mr. Aware may be aware, this region of the Forest Service is currently developing methods for protecting water quality during our activities. Some of these methods are things we are already supposed to be doing in terms of timber sale contracts and road designs and so forth. We'll also be developing new measures where there are currently none in place. Collectively, these measures are going to be called best management practices. We saw your management practices in the last timber sale. They are the problem. Ma'am, I understand your concern about that last project. Truth is, the practices I'm talking about weren't included in that sale, and it shows. But we're looking at a current sale. I've walked the ground. We've moved the proposed roads off the unstable landforms. We've considered location and design in both the road locations and the timber harvest units. We've restricted the harvest on steep slopes and in areas with high erosion potential. And perhaps most importantly, the get em sale will include stream protection zones. Stream protection zones. <laughs> These are areas adjacent to streams where we'll limit disturbance and restrict equipment movement. In Clean Clearwater Creek, these zones will be 300 feet. 300 feet? <laughs> All the particulars are included in the erosion control plan for this project. As Ranger Dad said, it's not final. Our secretary just typed it up this afternoon. If it's OK with him, you folks are welcome to review it and see if it addresses your concerns. Yes, I look forward to that. Me and, too. And the Rivertown Council would also be interested in that review. Yeah, OK. <laughs> Stump boy, you just saved my rear. <laughs> All right, folks, those of you interested in reviewing the erosion control plan, let me know. I'll have Stump here get with you. I'm Ranger Dan, and I approve this message. <laughs> Good night, and thanks for coming. Man, I need a beer.